we're going to explore a scenario now where you may need to give someone access to your computer from a remote location. Think of an IT support call, for example, where they need to be able to get in and look at your system and make adjustments. Or maybe someone's given you access to their computer remotely. We're going to look at both scenarios. Starting here at the start screen, type in the word remote. When you do that, you'll see a number of options containing the word remote, including the program called Remote Desktop Connection. That's what we use to connect to a remote computer. Now, if someone's going to be connecting to yours, you need to give them access. If you're going to be connecting to theirs, they need to give you access. And we do that by going to the Allow Remote Access to Your Computer option. Let's give it a click. All of this runs in the old desktop environment. You can see System Properties opens up. So we could have gone to Control Panel System and gone to the Remote tab. But this little shortcut takes us directly to where we need to be to allow remote connections to this computer. All we do is click the radio button next to Allow Remote Connections. And you can decide whether or not those connections need to be from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication turned on. And you can see that is the default. It's a little more secure. When you click Apply, people will be able to access your computer now once you provide them with the computer name, potentially even your IP address. If you go up to Computer Name, you'll see the name of your computer as well as a potential description, for example. We'll click OK. That's been set up. Now people will be able to use that remote desktop connection app to connect to my computer. Let's go to the reverse scenario now where someone's just given you access and provided you with the name of a computer. Well, in that case, from your start screen, we'll press the Windows key to get there. You would, again, begin to type in the word remote, but this time select the app, Remote Desktop Connection. And you can see this is a program that's about to run. All you need is the computer name or if it's an IP address, enter it here, click Connect, and what you'll be looking at is their desktop. You'll have full access to their computer, and at the end, you'll disconnect. So we'll just close this up. We'll go back to our Start screen, and when you no longer need to give remote access, you can turn it off. From here, we'll type in Remote, where it says Allow Remote Access to your computer. We go back to that, but this time, of course, we're going to select don't allow remote connections. You can click apply or just go straight to OK to turn that off. And that's how you get and receive remote access to another computer.